In Creo Parametric, you can now create a geodesic curve using a point and an angle. The way that you do that is by going to the Datum Overflow menu and then the Curve Flyout. There is a new command in here, Curve from Point and Direction. When I click on that, it opens up the dashboard. And the first thing that you will pick is your start point for your surface. Well, we'll click on that. And the next thing is the direction reference for the angle. So let's click in the collector. I will use the datum plane called top that's visible. And right now it has an angle of zero degrees. As I drag it around here, you can see how the shape of the curve is changing. There's also a drag handle here for the length of the curve. So you can control how far it's going to go on your surface. The other thing that you can do is you can specify from the drop down list a different length, or if you go to this drop down, you can choose either to drive it to a reference, like using some point to define the length of the curve, or if you choose by domain, it'll go along the entire extent of the reference surface. Here we have for side two, we could choose by length and that will give us another drag handle and we can drag it along here. Or similarly, we have this drop down list where we can go and choose this one to go by domain across the entire length of the curve. And you can see as we drag the angle handle how the geodesic curve is going to end up changing shape. And then to complete the feature, let's hit the check mark. And there we have our geodesic curve created through that point at the angle specified. And I just want to show you how this compares to the geodesic curve that was added back in Creo Parametric 8.0. In that situation, well, if you go to the curve command, you can choose curve through point, and then you can pick one point and then hold down the control key and select the other point. And there we have our curve going through. Then we can choose to place the curve on a surface and then pick the surface. And then with this option here, you can make it geodesic. So it'll be the shortest distance along the surface. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete that one and show you how the geodesic curve would be slightly different now in Creo 9. We go to the curve command, curve from point and direction. Well, let's select this point and we'll select our same surface as before for the direction reference. Let me hold down the right mouse button to show that you can get to the direction reference collector from the right mouse button. I'll pick that surface. And then for our angle, let me change this here to a value of 30 degrees. Let me flip the direction. There we go. Now we can see the curve. And let's change the length here. Let me choose a value of 2 for the extent. And now we can grab the angle and we can drag it along over here. Or just like before, I can change this to using the domain for defining the curve. And there we can see the geodesic curve that's created at that particular angle and hit the check mark. Let me repaint the screen to turn off the display of the meshing. So there you can see how you can use that new type of curve in the old situation.